Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is a fill-in, a check-in again on our Philadelphia Phillies coming off of a putrid loss where John Means, who, albeit is a very good pitcher through a no-hitter this year, is a good pitcher, is the ace of the Orioles, but thrashed them. And then the big caveat of that game is they couldn't get going on the two innings and a bit off of the Orioles' bullpen. And that's been the issue for the Phillies all season. They now sit three back. 5-5 five and five in their last 10, a two-game losing streak with the Braves are 5-5 five five in their last 10, but won the last two. And that's how now the Phillies are three back, where the Phillies could have took more advantage since the Braves have the same record for them in their last 10, but just can't take advantage of opponents they should take advantage of. And that's really been the case for the Phillies the entire calendar year of 2021. The biggest two reasons they are losing and the team that is three behind, and if you look in the wild card standings, I believe it is four behind, four and a half actually now after last night behind in the wild card standing, is because they don't beat the inferior opponents and they have 32 blown saves. I mean, there's no other reasons really beyond, yes, you could pick at other things, but those are clearly the two main reasons. You have 10 less blown saves, you're in first place. Hell, you have 10 less blown saves, you might even be in first place in the wild card with the way uh, things were going there because you're only four and a half back. It would depend... Um, how the Cardinals changed their tide and the way they were playing because they saw the Phillies being closer to them is really now more of an inferior threat to them. So that would have been interesting to see what they would have done there and if they would have upped their ante in response to the Phillies upping their ante. But the Phillies can't do that because they have played down in the inferior opponents and they also just cannot lose these type of games by blowing them like they did earlier in the season or by blowing them in this game by just not having any really good at-bats. This team came out flat this game, the last game last night, and there was no excuse to do that. And now moving forward into the next two, you got to take these next two games. That's the big thing. The Phillies have to. They must win the next two games against the Orioles. And today is going to be a doozy because you have Medina who is a guy that I know my co-host on here, Andrew, and I texted about it a little bit. He hasn't been on for a while, but we talked about he might be him or more starting. I specifically said him just because he started pitching well in the minors before coming back up. He had that one outing that he closed when we were up in the game and pitched all right. But he can maybe give you the two, the three innings, so you're not just going bullpen, 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 bullpen through nine innings. Um, which is just going to take forever. And then they have Connor Green going for them, who has a 5-3-1 ERA. So hopefully the Phillies are able to jump on him. But we know from past that the Phillies, with people they don't see, it don't matter what their ERA is all the time, sometimes they can't jump on him. So you got to jump on this guy. Has a bad ERA. The Orioles are going to their entire bullpen in this game, and they got a very bad bullpen. The Phillies at least have, it wasn't, it's not a success to improve their bullpen from a historically bad last year. But at least have been better than last year. And Coonrod and others, Bradley, did all right uh, yesterday and has been better recently. So you got some guys out there nearest other than his one last outing has been good. So you got guys out there. The Orioles, you should have been able to hit Sol. So you should be able to hit all these other guys. You weren't able to do it yesterday with Wells or him. Hopefully you're able to do it today because you're going to have the bullpen the entire game. And going with Medina as an opener is probably the smart thing to do because at least he was a starting pitcher in the minors. So you're not flipping an entire nine innings and the game takes like Barkan and Ricky Bo said on last night's post game about seven hours long because you're putting in 17 different pitchers throughout the course of the game. Um, now when it comes to Wednesday if the Phillies are able to win the bullpen game they have a very good chance because um, Keegan Aiken is a lefty of South Pole that's really been struggling this year. He's 2-10 with a 6-9-3, except for, obviously, again, the Phillies don't always hit guys, they don't always see, and it don't matter what their ERA is all the time. So you got to be able to game plan for him right, and you got to be able to take advantage of him, because every other team has obviously been hitting him this year, other than those teams that he got two wins from. So you got to take advantage of a Keegan Aiken. We then got Zach Wheeler, who's in the Cy Young contention. I don't think he's going to win it now. I think Max Serger basically stole that from everybody since he's been in L.A., but you have him at 14-9 and nine and a 2.83 ERA. So if you can win the bullpen game tonight, this is the big game. And then hopefully, hopefully, um, if you can win the bullpen game tonight, 
you will also be able to make up some ground because the Braves can lose to the D-backs team the Phillies struggled against, which again is one of those inferior opponents that screws them for where they're at now, and they could really be in a better spot in the standings. Hopefully the Braves are able to lose to those Diamondbacks. The Phillies can win in the bullpen game, make up a game. They'll be back only two games. And then tomorrow they will be able to have Zach Wheeler going where for the Wednesday game the Braves then would have Ian Anderson going against Merrill Kelly, who's a decent fourth, fifth starter type guy or there in Arizona. So maybe we just need Arizona to take one of these games and the Phillies need to win the next two so they're only two back after this series rather than being three back. That's the key. You don't want to be three back coming out of playing the Orioles of all teams. You want to at least be able to make that one game back because there's no guarantee the Braves are going to lose to the Diamondbacks. And if they can get one of two with Merrill Kelly pitching tomorrow, or if they can get one today with another guy that's been pitching like solid four or five starter numbers, uh, Luke Weaver, then maybe they can do that, except for Jesse Chavez with what he's been asked to do for the Braves this year has been filling in really well, and he's going for them. So it'll be interesting what they're able to do, but the Phillies have to take care of their business first, and that is winning this bullpen game, starting Medina is probably a good move because at least he was a start in the minors, actually having some success down there since going back, pitching about three, third, four innings, uh, five innings, and one or two outings. So maybe he can be able to do that, and then you don't have to go, not five innings, but like two and a third, three innings, and then you'll be able to go to the bullpen and not just go every nine innings. So, or through every pitcher for nine innings, I mean to say. So, win this bullpen game tonight. You got Wheeler going tomorrow. You got to be able to be two back after this. Hopefully, the Braves can help you by losing a game that either Luke Weaver is pitching for the Diamondbacks today, or tomorrow Merrill Kelly is pitching for the Diamondbacks. Two solid pitchers, nothing amazing, but solid pitchers that might be able to have a good outing against the Braves. This has been Sports Fan News. This has been a Philadelphia Phillies check in. This is their week to make a break. you got to take advantage of the inferior opponents, and obviously against these inferior opponents, you can't start blowing games and add to that 32 save total. So do it, Phillies. Take advantage of it. Win that bullpen game. Win with Wheeler, and then hopefully we're at least two games back after this series. You win two games, the Braves lose one, you're two games back. So come out of it at least being two games back. That is going to be the goal, and then win these next two games. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Enjoy. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's really appreciated. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the baseball, and peace out.